My name is Jason Foster, and I'm running for City Council for Ward 2. I'm often asked, why am I running? I'm a concerned citizen. Our city has been facing declining revenue and increased expenses for nearly a decade. We're in a vicious reactionary cycle, leading to constant overrides, higher taxes, budget cuts, and threats to critical services. It's time to take a different path by being proactive and creative. We deserve choices, not pass this override or our children's education suffers. I voted yes, but with much frustration. Our elected officials are unable to create new revenue streams, income that is not dependent on higher taxes or the hope of more state aid. We will be paying another new tax, this time to address the stormwater drain shortfalls. Now is the time to elect someone who has the credentials to help solve our current financial challenges, someone like me. I'm also often asked, how am I different than my opponent? After all, we both have socially progressive agendas and agree on many issues. However, I have 20 years of successful business experience as an entrepreneur. In 1991, after earning a finance degree, I was faced with the reality of a recession. I had no resources, substantial student loans, and an unorthodox plan for my future. Most of my classmates headed to graduate school. In the aftermath of Tiananmen Square, while few Americans considered China, I took a different path. I headed to Beijing. At 25, I co-founded a pioneering business that evolved into one of the most successful market research companies in Shanghai. It started with a vision, $500, tireless persistence, and the will to accomplish my goals. Within five years, after making many adjustments due to constantly changing market conditions and clearing numerous Communist Party hurdles, we grew to 110 employees, had four offices, and a list of Fortune 500 clients. As a resident of Round Hill Road, my neighbors and I have been dealing with the reality of the Clark School development by Opal, one of the largest in Ward 2. Many of us have been frustrated with our lack of representation. We're concerned about our quality of life. Even when we've had a chance to speak at public meetings, our voices were dismissed. Decisions were already made and the process was merely a formality. That's not acceptable. I believe with new, proactive leadership, and a fresh perspective, the residents of Ward 2 would be better served. Our roads are a mess, potholes resemble craters, and the cracks in our sidewalks are dangerous. It boils down to priorities and money. By far, the most common concern across the ward, speeding vehicles. It's not polarizing partisan politics or the use of drones. It's speeding. Slowing vehicles doesn't require any money. It takes prioritization, follow-up, heightened awareness, and strong leadership. I intend to preserve our quality of life and represent neighbors dealing with developments at Village Hill, Round Hill Road, Smith College, and the YMCA. We can reduce speeds, fill potholes, and fix our sidewalks. Ongoing communication and organized input is key. We don't need to settle on mediocrity. We can do better. It's time to align our representation with the follow-through, experience, and drive that is required. Elect someone who takes the time to understand what matters most to the residents. Elect me. I have revenue generating ideas, unique outside of the box thinking, and the tenacity to drive ideas from concept to completion. Our city council should include people with diverse perspectives and skills to meet the needs of a city with growing families and strained budgets. Our council, council lacks this diversity. I bring new skills, new energy, and new perspectives. My opponent is a good person who has dedicated 10 years to public service. He ran unopposed for many elections and filled the position on our behalf. We owe him a huge debt of gratitude. Many people would shy away from trying to de-seat a 10-year incumbent, but I believe it's time for a change. Rather than just complain, I decided to be proactive and run for public office. I'm willing to advocate for priorities and improvements. I've made a career of implementing ideas, tenaciously pursuing strategic visions, overcoming pessimists, and dealing with bureaucracy. My success has depended on my ability to collaborate with individuals and work with committees, organizations, and businesses. We choose to live here for the great quality of life. That's where our focus should be. I look forward to serving as city councilor for Ward 2 and would like to encourage you to vote Jason Foster and make a difference. Thank you for your time and consideration.